Bone marrow transplantation is a highly specialized procedure that is a part of the specialty called hematology. So it is a procedure where we try to empty the bone marrow of a patient. So bone marrow is the it's like like the factory of uh, blood production. It is located with inside the bones um, in our bodies and blood. All three types of blood cells are produced inside the bone marrow. So whenever there is a defect in the bone marrow, uh, for example, which which type of diseases can affect the bone marrow? Something like blood cancer, which is leukemia, uh, some disorders like abnormal hemoglobin, like thalassemia, sickle cell anemia, uh, aplastic anemia, where the factory completely completely shuts down and stops making these blood cells. So either if there is a malfunctioning or abnormal functioning of the bone marrow, or if there is another disease that is affecting the bone marrow significantly, then in these procedures we can conduct this. Uh, procedure called bone marrow transplantation. So we give medicines that will help in targeting the bone marrow and emptying the bone marrow of all the mother cells that make your blood cells and once the bone marrow is empty, we take the bone marrow from a normal person who is matched with the patient and take the bone marrow from them and give it to the patient. So it is very different from a liver transplantation or a kidney transplantation like a solid organ transplantation in the sense that in those patients, only the organ is removed and put in from the from the donor to the patient. However, in bone marrow transplantation, it is almost like taking the blood of one patient and giving it to another one. Only thing is, we are taking the marrow and not the blood cells. So it is also different as in what type of immunosuppression. So we need to make sure that the patient is maintained on a medicine that will not attack the donor's bone marrow cells. So the patient stays on what we call immunosuppression or uh, medicines which will keep the immune system of the recipient or the patient who is getting the procedure done uh, at a lower level so they don't attack the bone marrow. Unlike solid organ transplants like a liver transplant or kidney transplant, those patients tend to stay on these immunosuppressant drugs for a very long time, almost lifelong. But bone marrow transplant patients most often by around one to one and a half years post transplantation, they come off these medications and they can leave al lead almost normal lives post this procedure. So other indications of bone marrow transplant, I will leave it to Dr. Mangesh to talk about. Yeah, so I will basically add to Dr. Uh, Nima's lucid uh, uh, presentation. So bone marrow transplantation is not a surgery. So that is the first thing that I would like to tell you all as opposed to a solid organ transplantation. The term bone marrow transplantation basically means that you are extracting the mother cells as Dr. Nima said which are basically the source of all the three types of blood cells in our body namely the red blood cells, the white blood cells and platelets. So these mother cells when they are taken out from your bone marrow and given back to you uh, which is the case in autologous transplantation or given to another individual which is the case in allogenic transplantation constitutes bone marrow transplantation. So uh, there are different uh, terms that are now synonymous with bone marrow transplantation. One is blood and marrow transplantation wherein we either take the bone marrow from the bone of an individual and then give it to another individual or we sometimes extract the mother cells from the peripheral circulation of one individual and give it to another individual or the same individual. And another term that uh, uh, is very commonly used now is stem cell transplantation. Stem cell transplantation is another word for bone marrow transplantation. The word stem cell is equal to mother cell that I was talking to you about wherein the precursor cells are extracted either by the blood or from the uh, bone of an individual. Now I am an adult transplanter. So what? who are the doctors who are going to do bone marrow transplantation for you? Dr. Nima is a hematologist. There are a few medical oncologists like myself who are also do bone marrow transplantation. Dr. Nima being a hematologist will do bone marrow transplantation for benign indications such as thalassemia, sickle cell disease and several other immunodeficiency disorders that are very commonly seen in children and also on blood cancers or acute leukemias in children or adults. As a medical oncologist, I do bone marrow transplantations in acute leukemia such as acute myeloid leukemia acute lymphoblastic leukemia and a few cases of myelodysplastic syndrome and a few cases of aplastic anemia. So that is what uh, uh, the medical oncologist does. So bone marrow transplantation is seldom done by only one individual. You require a team of experienced clinicians, 
you require with them to have experienced bmt trained nurses that you would call and we require lot of coordinated uh, services from our fellow clinicians such as dr vijayta who is a radiation oncologist we need an experienced uh, hematopathologist a pathologist who is trained in uh, seeing uh, bone marrow slides and also other specialties such as psycho oncology and so on so bone marrow transplantation can only be done in specialized centers dr neema and myself who uh, do bone marrow tra transplants at fortis uh, cancer institute we make sure that all the pre transplant workup is done at our clinic which can be easily done and the patient can also be kept safe uh, from contracting any other infection